thanks to CC103 Engineering Survey 1 students. So today we are going to demonstrate how to set up a tether light instrument. Okay, uh, it involves a few basics. Okay, the first thing, the first step, it has to be done is that we want to set up our peg. Now the good way of setting up pegs on ground is that to ensure that the height of the peg itself from the ground is at least or more or less 25 mm from the ground so that you will have a good firm peg located on the ground okay, so it won't be shifting easily. Okay, the second step is to set up the tripod. Normally okay. just open the old The adjustment for the height is more or less up to the neck line. Okay. Secure again all three screws and we are ready to use it. So the best way to set up the tripod legs is to have an opening of at least 60 degrees like this one here. Just nicely done. Now, the second step involves how you manage your tripod okay, in a distance nearing to your back location. So what you could do is to to see or to view from the top here, just to see the center of the opening here is in line with your back. Okay more or less the same. After you ensure that the opening is about 60 degrees each, the next method is to ensure the top plate of your tripod is almost horizontal position. So after you are confident enough that this plate is in a horizontal position just like this one you can secure all three legs just to ensure that later we will have a good adjustment now to hold must hold it firmly on the top and also on the base of the tether line take it up slowly like this never hold it like this this is a wrong way of doing it. This is a good way of doing it. Now we can put it on the top of the bed. Tripod plate. Now the, the tether light is on the base plate. The next thing we must do is to ensure the axis is good. Okay. Okay, after the axis is good, just like this one, Never put your tether light instrument like this. This is not good. This is the correct one. So, after you are sure that the axis is just fine, you can lock down the screw down here. Locking screw for the tether light with the tripod. Uh, please make sure tighten the bolts securely. All right, the next step is uh, a process that students always, always uh, forget about doing it. Okay. It is uh, involving how to reduce the, uh, the height of this leveling screw here. Okay. Um, what you must do is that to ensure okay, the leveling screw is in line with this indicator here at the tether line. Okay. Make sure all of these screws are all in that position, just like what I do here. So that we will have a good range of uh, leveling data. Our next task is to uh, bring the center of axis of this tether light in line with the center of pack down here. Now this center of pack is marked with a nail. So we need to bring this uh, 
vertical line of the feather light instrument in line with the center of the peg. In order to do that, uh, we use the optical plummet to view roughly the peg position down there and then simultaneously adjusting the position of the tripod. Right now we are going to shift the feather light position so that it will be in line with the peg. Okay. Now before we are doing that, please make sure you focus well using this optical parameter. Okay. We adjust the focus, this is the focus adjustment dial. Now to adjust the optical plummet, this is the adjustment for optical plummet. Right. Now it is now good to be used, so we are ready to shift the position of this tripod. So they will be in line with the pack position. So in order to do this, you must hold the tripod leg firmly like this, using the two out slowly and by looking simultaneously at the optical line moving slowly until the plummet line is in line with the nail on the tripod just like this try to make some small adjustment so that your tripod is still in the horizontal axis As you can see in the picture, uh, the vertical line or the vertical axis of the tether light is in line with a nail on the peg. Okay. So now we are ready to secure the position of this tripod okay, uh, permanently to the ground. Okay. In order to do that, you must make sure you step all over with your own weight on the tripod leg like this. Okay. Just like what I'm doing now. So all of your weight will be concentrated on the foot of the tripod. So do the same with the other leg. Just like this. So now the tripod leg are secure firmly on the ground. So you can move. So very firm. Alright. After the leg has been uh, secured to the ground, so the next stage will be doing the horizontal adjustment, okay, the leveling of the instrument. To adjust the uh, horizontal of this uh, tripod instrument, what we need to do is to ensure the bubble position located on this lower base is uh, secure at the center position there is a bubble here so we want to make sure this bubble enters the circle okay. in order to do that we need some minor adjustment on the tripod legs okay. so we need to see and adjust simultaneously this is why I did here have a firm grip on the top and slowly open the adjustment screw here and try to adjust until the bubble enters the center line. Now this process involves uh, you to ensure this bubble by adjustment of the other legs as well. So we need to adjust it until the bubble enters the center position after we make sure that the instrument is in horizontal axis 
what we need to check one more time is the alignment of the vertical axis with the the nail position okay it is normal okay after we do some minor adjustment the position of the vertical axis will move slightly so we need to ensure it one more time by checking through the usage of the optical filament like this so normally the position will switch a little bit so we need to do some fine adjustment by opening slightly the bottom screw and secure it just for a while make sure you have some fine adjustment by holding the base plate like this never turn okay? do not turn the instrument never twist it like this just move in line that's like what I'm doing now okay? in order to do that we also looking at the optical plummet and move the instrument until the vertical axis is in line with the center of the pack and the position of the nail. Okay, so now it is back to the center position of the nail. Now we can screw back. Okay. Alright, the next process or the most last almost last process is to ensure that the horizontal bubble is in its center line okay now this process involves a, a small movement of this adjustment screw down here okay. so how to do it okay firstly make sure the instrument is facing you like this okay. in a using a counter rotation turn the knob slowly until the bubble centers its position so now it is roughly almost center twist the instrument 90 degrees like this 90 degrees from your axis and next is to adjust only one screw here until the bubble center its position. Okay, after the instrument is leveled, the last step is to check whether the vertical axis of the instrument is still in line with your peg at the nail position. Okay. In order to do that, you must check it using the optical plummet. Alright, it seems that our position now is a little bit more away from the center position of the nail. So I need to open back, unlock the screw, hold some minor movement like this and screw back. Now you are ready to use the instrument and taking some reading. Before we end the video for the demo, I would like to show you some of the uh, basic usage of the instrument. Now this uh, instrument is uh, divided into two parts, which is the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Now each axis has a locking screw here. Now this screw will lock the position of the horizontal axis. Now the movement of the rotation of the instrument is restrained. So it cannot be moved. Okay. Now in order to make some micro adjustment when you do some sighting, this is the slow motion screw of the horizontal axis. Now you can see some minute turning of the instrument using this screw okay. so this is how we do it okay. lock the screw and this is the slow motion moving no it is uh, similar with the horizontal uh, the vertical axis okay if you want to make some adjustment small adjustment lock the vertical knob and make some 
minor adjustment using the slow motion screw here. Now, if it is locked, the vertical movement of this telescope is straight. Okay. So by making sure that you make fine adjust, uh, adjustment or taking reading, this is the slow motion screw for the vertical axis. The final part of the tether light is the telescope. Now here you can see one knob. There are a few knobs, two knobs here. The first knob is to be used to focus the image of the sighting that you want to sight. Okay. And the other one is the crosshair adjustment. Okay. So before you do some sighting, plus, uh, please make sure that you have a clear image by adjusting the telescope focusing screw here and before taking readings please make sure that your crosshair is clearly be seen by adjusting this adjustment knob for crosshair there are the things that you might want to check before you do that first thing is to unlock the horizontal screw okay, so that it can move freely second one is to unlock the vertical axis so everything can move here you can see it can move freely okay, and unlock the lower screw on a firm grip on top and at the bottom like this one And now we can uh, easily place it inside the case, like this. So make sure there is no restriction of the movement, so everything can move. So we don't want to uh, damage the instrument when it is in lock position. Please make sure everything is unlocked. Just like this one, free to move. And only then we can close the lid. By securing the side locking screw and also at the front. So before every closure of the work, please make sure you also secure your tripod. So unlock that. All the three screws like this, make sure everything is free. Okay. Have a firm grip like this, okay. and then slide all the three legs all the way down. So, here we are doing this to ensure all the three legs are securely tightened. Okay. Finally, you can lock all the three lockings. So here it is. Thank you very much for viewing this video. I hope all of you will learn something out of this video. Have a good try in trying to how to set up the Twitter Light instrument.